What is going on, everybody? My name is the California Cougar, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red Team Venusaur Edition. This is going to be the finale, I'm pretty sure, of this Let's Play. And as you can see here, we got our Pokemon lined up and ready to go. I decided to give Poseidon the Quick Claw instead of the Never Melt Ice like I originally planned because I think his special attack is high enough that Ice Beam will do enough damage to whatever Lance has to throw at us. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get Bulbapedia loaded up here. Probably should have done that before I started recording, but oh well. But yeah, alright, here we go. Let's get started. So you've returned, he says. This is Lance. In the previous episode, we defeated the first three members once again. This is, and again, this is round two. The elite challenge ends with me, he says. And here we go. The final member of the Elite Four. Let's go, baby. So, he once again will lead off with his Gyarados, level 68. This Gyarados knows the moves Hyper Beam, Dragon Dance, Thunder Wave, and Earthquake. So, yes, yeah, so I've got Finn out here to take care of him real quick. We're just going to use Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt should do enough damage. At least I hope it does, otherwise he's going to annihilate me with Earthquake. Good. Alright. And there we go. That'll get him to 64. Alright. I'm gonna do something weird here with Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl's still pretty scary. He's at he's gonna be at level 70. I'm actually gonna send out Valkyrie against him. Because there's a couple things I wanna do. So yeah, this Aerodactyl's at level 70. He knows the moves Hyper Beam, Ancient Power, Aerial Ace, and Earthquake. So yeah, this is the scary guy. He scares me a lot because well mainly because of Earthquake. He does have ancient power, He's gonna, and he's going to outspeed my whole team pretty much. We're going to use Feather Dance on him. We're going to hope we survive this ancient power. Which we do. Good. That allows us to get Feather Dance off on him. That'll drop his attack. Now we're going to try and use it again, but I'm willing to bet he's going to kill me here. Yep, I figured. Ooh, I lived! Nice! Ooh! That's the significance of Feather Dance right there. Oh, that's amazing, actually. Okay. Now he's gonna kill us. I'm just gonna let Pidgeot die here. That's all I really needed Valkyrie for. I think I should get two Feather Dances off. That's amazing. Alright. At this point... Ooh, who do I send in? I could send in Simon. I could send in Poseidon as well. But I think we're gonna send in Finn. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Thunder Wave to try and slow him down. He does have Earthquake. That's why I didn't send Finn in right away, because without the Feather Dances, Finn would not survive this. So we're going to use Thunder Wave and try and slow him down here. Now I've got to make a decision. Do I want to use Thunderbolt? Or do I want to use Psychic? I think I'm going to use Thunderbolt. Because I have enough health to tank another Earthquake. Damn! I should have gone for Thunder, actually. Okay, as long as this doesn't kill me... Even if it does, I should be okay, because he's going to full restore here. Alright. So he's going to full restore here. We're going to use Thunder Wave again. Yep. There we go. Predicted it. That, that'll get rid of his paralysis, but guess what? Bam! Paralyzed again. Alright, and that'll slow him down to pretty much slower than anyone on my team. So at this point, I'm just going to go for Thunder. If it misses, it misses. No big deal. But we hit him, and that should kill him, considering how much Thunderbolt did. And there we go. And he's dead. Alright. So at this point, he's going to send out a Dragonite. I'm actually going to keep Finn in here. And we're going to use Thunder Wave again. We're just going to let Finn die here. This Dragonite's at level 66. He knows 
Ooh, he's paralyzed. Nice. He knows Hyper Beam, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, and Flamethrower. So, yeah, he is paralyzed, which is unfortunate. I was hoping he would actually kill... Oh, well. We'll just get some damage in on him. I don't expect this to come anywhere near killing him. If it crits, that'd be amazing. That's a crit! Aw, oh, it didn't kill, though. That's okay. Even if he four restores, he's gonna kill me here. Yeah. Even if he four restores, that'll still give Vaporeon a free shot. We're just gonna send in Poseidon. Now it's time to unleash some Ice Beams. Nice. He didn't four restore. Okay. And there we go. Level 66. Second Pokemon on my team to gain a level. Okay, and he's sending in his other Dragonite, so we're gonna stay in here. This Dragonite, he's at level 72. He knows Hyper Beam, Outrage, Thunderbolt, and Ice Beam. I'm willing to bet he goes for Thunderbolt here. But I should easily be able to tank one of those, unless it crits. So we'll just go for Ice Beam. He is gonna be faster, which I expected. Just don't crit me. There we go. Don't paralyze me either. And there we go. And with my special attack at 205, this should be more than enough to kill him. And there we go. Bam. Alright, at this point he's got one Pokemon left. That's his Kingdra. So yes, he swapped out one of his Dragonairs for a Kingdra and he evolved the other Dragonair. At this point, we're actually going to send out Godzilla here. This Kingdra does have Ice Beam, so it could, it's a little risky. He knows Hyper Beam, Dragon Dance, Surf, and Ice Beam. But we're going to try and put him to sleep here. And there we go. Perfect. I actually wasn't sure if I would outspeed. I think it was like 50-50. Kingdra has decent speed. Now at this point, I'm going to use Leech Seed. That way I get as much damage off. That way he'll always be taking the... Oh my god, he woke up already. So I use Dragon Dance. It's fine with me. The only attack that helps is Hyper Beam. It's not going to help Ice Beam. Unfortunately, though, I do think he's going to outspeed me now. Yeah, it's the speed I'm more worried about than the attack. Well, we'll try and put him to sleep again. Hopefully we can tank this Ice Beam. King Grow's decent special attack, but this isn't Stab. So, good, we do have one. Nice. Back to sleep he goes. Alright. At this point, I don't know if I'm in kill range for Frenzy Plant. But putting him to sleep and leeching in does help me. because if, So if he wakes up, he can prob I can probably tank another Ice Beam. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to hope that this plush Sleech Seed will do enough damage. Leech Seed's going to kill him. And there we go. That's why I did it. And there we go. Alright, so yes, this battle actually went really smoothly for me. It can be very scary, especially if Aerodactyl, like, Aerodactyl can really mess you up. Like, if he had somehow killed Electabuzz, I would have thrown in... I would have thrown in Vaporeon. Vaporeon would have taken an extra hit. But yeah, Vaporeon's strong enough to take a lot of hits, so... <laughs> I figured it would go as such. Anyway, we have one more challenge. We have defeated Lance. I'm going to keep the Quick Claw on Vaporeon. I think that's the right item to keep on him at this point. We'll go ahead and use our Max Revives here. And here we go. Go ahead and drop a Moo Moo Milk on uh, Vaporeon. On Poseidon. <coughs> Get him back to full. And let's see. We'll use a lemonade, I think. I think a lemonade will. Yeah, that should get, get him up enough HP. There we go. Perfect. Let's make sure that. Don't want to accidentally walk in without saving my game. And also switching my Pokemon. We're actually going to have Valkyrie lead here instead of Finn. Okay, make sure they're all holding the best items possible. Charcoal, Miracle Seed, 
I'm going to keep the Quick Claw instead of putting the Mystic Water back on him. I think Quick Claw is the right item. Um, what do I want to put on Simon? I think Leftovers will be good. Alright, at this point, it's time to save our game. Alright, let's do this. This is the final battle. Final battle of our journey. Final battle of this Let's Play. Here we go. This guy's got a bit of a different team. His Pokemon can be quite scary. Here we go. This is it. The final battle. Will we get the sweep? So he's going to start off with his Heracross. Heracross is one of his new Pokemon. We've seen Heracross before. It's the Johto Bug type. This guy is a Bug Fighting type. He knows Megahorn, Earthquake, Counter, and Rock Tomb. So, pretty powerful moves here. Rock Tomb's our main threat here, but he's double weak, four times weak to Flying. So, we're going to use Fly. There he goes, just trying to use Rock Tomb. Oh my god, I missed. That's bad. That's really bad. That is really bad, actually. This could one-hit me. Ooh, okay, I can take another one. Good. Good to know. Oh, I'm still faster. Even better. Okay. Now he's going for counter. Hopefully he's locked into that at this point. I missed again, dude! Okay, he went for counter again. Oh my god. Now is not the time to miss, dude. Okay, I think he's locked into counter at this point. Okay, there we go. This should one hit him. Good, okay. Alright, so we're not in an ideal situation here. Okay, he's going to his Tyranitar next. This is the other new Pokemon he has. And we're actually going to switch over to Godzilla here. So Tyranitar is actually the pseudo-legendary of Johto. Kind of like Dragonite is for Kanto. And the annoying thing about this guy is he has the ability Sandstream, which whips up a Sandstorm. So we're going to be taking damage every turn. And yeah, the Sandstorm's never ending until you switch it with a different weather move like Sunny Day or Rain Dance or whatever. Anyway, this guy's a Rock and Dark type. He knows the moves Crunch, Earthquake, Thunderbolt, and Aerial Ace. So yeah, we're going to use Frenzy Plan on him. It'll be super effective. Good. Connected. But yeah, this guy's got super high attack. Physical attack, that is. Nice. Got the crit. There we go. Got the kill. I figured it would. In, in my test run, he died, so... Without a crit. Alright, up next is Alakazam. Now, this is the scary guy. I'm actually going to take a risk here. I'm going to hope I live a Psychic. I don't think I will. But we're going to keep him in here. And we're going to try and put him to sleep. Actually, no, I use Frenzy Plant. Never mind. We're switching. <laughs> I keep forgetting I use Frenzy Plant. Alright. Um, can Valkyrie take a hit? I don't know. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. I don't know. But I'm going to use Valkyrie here. I just want to get one hit off on him. That's all I want with Valkyrie. Anyway, this Alakazam knows Psychic, Shadow Ball, Calm Mind, and Reflect, so he is the scariest Pokemon, basically. We're going to let Sandstorm take a... F this will also allow the Sandstorm to do damage to him. All his other Pokemon, Sandstorm actually hurts them all, so... Yeah, he's going to kill me, unfortunately. Damn it. That's why I was hoping I would hit Heracross right away, because I could have tanked a Psychic if I... Had... All right. At this point, we're going to send in Shere Khan. He's our next best option, I think. Alright. Because Shere Khan has extreme speed, and I'm hoping that with the combination of Sandstorm will two hit him. And hopefully Psychic doesn't crit me. So, we're going to go for the extreme speed right here. Okay, if I live this, another extreme speed might kill him. Good, perfect. Alright, 
Now the whole battle could rely on this extreme speed right here. Please kill him, that's all I ask. Just kill him. He didn't use Reflect, which is good. Yes! Got a crit, there we go. That's huge. I don't know if the crit mattered. It was clearly a close range, but yes. Alright, up next is Gyarados. So we know how we deal with Gyarados. We just send Finn out. Now, Gyarados, this Gyarados has a new moveset as well. He's at level 73. He knows Hydro Pump, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, and Hyper Beam. So, yes, a much more dangerous set. Pretty similar to Lance's set. Yeah, he has Earthquake, Hydro Pump. Actually, Lance's didn't have Hydro Pump, I don't think, did it? I don't remember. But, anyway, one Thunderbolt should do the trick here. Like usual. And there he goes, he's dead. Alright. Ooh, he's sending out Charizard now. Okay. There's probably a reason for that, but... This is what Poseidon got to level 65 for. This is what I trained him up to 65 for. Was well, for this guy right here. This Charizard knows Fire Blast, Dragon Claw, Aerial Ace, and Earthquake. I'm guessing he sent him out before Exeggutor because he knows Earthquake. It's the only reason I can think of. So, we're going to use Hydro Pump here. I'm hoping Hydro Pump will hit and kill him. Okay, he's going for Earthquake. I should be able to take a few of those. Yep. Oh my god, this happened in my test run too. Hmm. I can live another Earthquake. I don't think I'll live two more, though. I'm just gonna go for Surf. I wanted to hit him with Hydro Pump so badly. In my test run, Hydro Pump missed twice in a row. So I don't want to take that risk. We'll just hit him with Surf. And it kills! Nice! I wasn't sure if Surf would kill or not. But I figure... I guess the special attack helps. I did have Quick Claw on him. Maybe I could have risked using Hydro Pump again. But anyway, this guy now has Exigator, so we're going to send in Shere Khan. Shere Khan is going to finish the job for us. And this is his final Pokemon. He has Giga Drain, Psychic, Sleep Powder, and Light Screen. So, yeah, and once again, like usual, he has weak special defense, like most Exigators do. So we're just going to use Flamethrower, and hopefully this will do enough damage to finish him off. Here we go. Will this do enough damage? Oh my god, he lived on like one health. Oh my god. Oh my god, he lived on like one health. That should have done enough. However, the good news is... I think he's in range for the Sandstorm to kill him. So we're going to send in Simon here. Simon's a little bit lower on experience than the rest of my Pokemon, so might as well. And will this kill him? And there he goes! He's dead! There he goes. And that is it. That is the final battle. It is over. We have beaten the champion once again. This is the strongest trainer in the game. Whew, what a finale. That was tough. Oh, freaking Heracross there. Fly missing twice in a row. I'm lucky you I'm lucky he locked into counter. I don't know why Her Heracross tends to do that. I don't know why. He gets locked into counter. But yeah. We got the win. And that's what matters. Yeah, if he had used Rock Tomb again, I would have been screwed. Pidgeot, like, I would have sent an Arcanine and used Aerial Ace, or Flamethrower, either one, but, yeah. But yes, we have done it, we are the champions once again. Let's put our Pokemon in the Hall of Fame for the final time. Alright, there we go. And let's take a look at our Hall of Famers. 
Valkyrie, Arpeggia, Finn, the Electabuzz, Simon, the Nido King, Poseidon, the Vaporeon, Shirkon, the Arcanine, and of course, our starter, Godzilla, the Venusaur. What a team this was. Very good team in my eyes. They may not be the strongest Pokemon of their respective typings, not all of them, but they're still very good Pokemon nonetheless. So let's watch these credits. And that is it. We have done everything we can possibly do in this Let's Play. We have beaten the Sevi Island quest, we have caught every legendary Pokemon, and we have beaten the Elite Four twice. Alright, so that is it guys, that is it for this Let's Play, I hope you guys all enjoyed it, 45 parts over 20 hours of filming, man, it was a fun Let's Play to make, I'll tell you that right now, very fun Let's Play to make, and this is also only the first of many Pokemon Let's Plays I plan on doing, I plan on doing a Let's Play of the Hoenn games. I'll probably take some time off for a bit just because it was a lot of hard work. I had to film like so many times in a row. I went to California for a bit in between and I actually just got back to filming this. But yeah, and there's Charizard. And I think it goes to the Pokedex. I don't know why it showed Charizard. I don't have Charizard on my team. But anyway, we'll go ahead. There's a couple things I wanted to like show you guys, so let's reset here. I did mention I wanted to show you guys a few things. So we'll do that right now, while we still have time. And we're back home once again. So, first thing I want to do is show you guys where I Eevee trained everybody. So for attack EVs. Where I went was I went to Fuchsia City, which is where I'm flying to now. And if you, you see this pond over here, you can access this pond by going into this house right here, just to the left of me, and going out the back. You can kind of see a back entrance there. If you fish in that pond with the Super Rod, you will find either Golding, Sea King, Gyarados, and there's like a 4 or 5% chance that a Psyduck will show up in Fire Red and Slowpoke will show up in Leaf Green. Yeah, those Psyduck and Slowpoke are the only ones that don't give off attack EVs, but again, it's like a 4 or 5% chance. It's super rare. But yeah, Golding gives off one attack EV per kill. Sea King and Gyarados each give off two. So. Yeah, that's the perfect place for attack training, for physical attack, that is. For uh, physical defense, we'll go back to Pallet Town. I didn't do any physical defense training, because I don't really, I didn't really have any defensive Pokemon on my team, so, yeah, especially physical defensive Pokemon on my team. So if you go down here, if you go into this grass patch here, the only Pokemon you can find is Tangela. Each Tangela you kill gives off, I think it's one defense EV, physical defense EV. So yeah, that's for physical defense. Now if you're looking for special attack, if you go into the Pokemon Tower here, you, like 95% or like 90% of the time you're going to find either Ghastly or Haunter. Ghastly gives off one special attack EV per kill and Haunter gives off two special attack EVs per kill. And if you're, want, if you're looking for more Haunters, you can actually go to the 7th floor. There's a 15% chance a Haunter will show up there. So it's actually pretty common up there. The other 10% is Cubone, which again, it's pretty rare. So yeah, it's a great place for special attack EVs. Psyduck also gives off special attack EV, so if you surf in the same pond in Fuchsia Town, you can find Psyduck there. Of course, if you're in you're playing Leaf Green, you can't really do that. So that's special attack. Special defense, where I what I do is I usually surf anywhere 
Like, literally anywhere in the game. You surf, you'll find Tentacool. And if you're on the uh, Sevi Islands, you can actually find Tentacruel as well. Tentacool gives off one special defense EV, Tentacruel gives off two. And again, surf in literally any ocean, pretty much. So like right here, you could surf here and find Tentacool at pretty much any level two. Each one gives off one special attack or one special defense EV. Now, for speed, if you go into Diglett's Cave here, you can find either Diglett or Dugtrio. Diglett gives off one speed EV, Dugtrio gives off two speed EVs. And those are the only Pokemon you find in there. So, yeah, those are the places where I go for each one. For HP, it's kind of random. Like, it's much harder in Fire Red. In Leaf Green, you can surf in the same pond in Fuchsia for Slowpoke. Each Slowpoke gives off one. Actually, no, I'm not gonna fly. Each Slowpoke gives off one special attack EV. So, at this point, we're gonna go to Seven Island here. There's one more place I want to show you guys. But yeah. Yeah, if you're looking for HP EVs in Fire Red, you might as well just do go to the Celadon department store, go up to the fifth floor, and you can buy HP ups there. They're very expensive, but honestly, it's the best way to EV train for HP there. The other way... The other way is by going to either Vermilion or Viridian Forest or like Route 25 north of Cerulean City and looking for Caterpie. Each Caterpie gives off one HP EV. And also, the I an item you can use to accelerate your EV training is the Macho Brace. What the Macho Brace does is it'll double your EV intake. So instead like if you kill a Pokemon that normally gives off one EV instead of two, it'll give you or one EV, it'll give you two instead. And for two EV Pokemon, it'll give you four, and so on and so forth. But the side effect of that is it lowers your speed in battle by half. So yeah, most of the time it's not an issue. Because the wild Pokemon you'll be fighting are much lower leveled anyway. But for, for slower Pokemon like my Vaporeon, for example. It was a little bit more difficult to like EV train him. So yeah. Anyway, if you go in here into like one of these chambers here, there's a bunch of these all over the southern southern part of Seven Island. If you start walk around in here, you can actually find Unknown. Unknown gives off one special attack and one physical attack EV per kill. So yeah, one of each. So if you have a mixed attacker, like my Arcanine, for example, was a mixed attacker. So. Yeah, if you have a mixed attacker, like Arcanine or Flareon or someone like that, that's a great place to train both EVs. So, yeah. Yeah, great place for EV training. Yeah, keep in mind as well, like a good way to know if you maxed out all of your EVs is you go to the Celadon department store, buy one of each vitamin, and if the Pokemon your EV training does not take any of the vitamins, then your EVs are maxed out. Anyway, this is the shop I was referring to earlier for the Moo Moo Milk. So yeah, you buy it here, you also buy lava cookies, fresh water, soda pop, lemonade, and of course, Pokeballs. But yeah, anyway guys, that's pretty much it. We're gonna go back to Pallet Town, we're gonna show our team one last time, and we're gonna finish. We're gonna end this part, and that's gonna be the end of this let's play. So, yeah, let's go back to Pallet Town where we started our journey. I think it's only right that we end it here. Take one last look at our team. All right, so. These are our final stats. Pidgeot didn't change. Finn changed a little bit. His stats are a little bit higher. Simon didn't change. Poseidon changed a little bit. We got him up a level. Shere Khan and Godzilla. Final move sets. Let me tell you guys right now, this is a fantastic team to use. Obviously, you don't have to use this team if you don't want to. You can change it around, but yeah, and this is it. Our final team, and this is our final goodbye here. This is the end 
of this let's play so one last time we're gonna save the game and we're just gonna close out here so if you enjoyed this let's play make sure to check out the other parts if you missed any of them hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this part of course and let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this let's play as a whole make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos to come in the future i will be coming out with more videos pretty soon i'll be resuming my survivor season series reviews or season review series soon so stay tuned for that and yeah hopefully the next let's play will be pokemon sapphire ruby or emerald one of those three but yeah i'm gonna take some time off from let's plays for now just because it's a lot of hard work but yeah i do once again i hope you guys really enjoy this i had a lot of fun playing this game i had a lot of fun talking about it with you guys by the way venusaur can learn solar beam at level 65 i did not get him to that level so we never learned it that's okay because razor leaf and frenzy plant did the job for us very well but yeah let me know what you guys think of my team as well would you use anyone different would you do you like my team would you change any of the moves let me know below and yeah that's gonna do it so once again i hope you guys enjoyed i had a lot of fun until the next video once again my name is the california cougar and always remember to stay california cool this is one hell of a let's play peace Wow.